Hello, amazing art family. Let's get into it. The worst artist advice I've ever gotten. I just want to start by saying I would love for this to be a dialogue slash conversation that goes on in the comments down below. So please tell me what you think, what you agree with, what you don't, what you don't agree with, what your experiences are, and support one another in these difficult artist mindset issues. Number one. You should only paint realistic art because that's what sells. Most people don't understand abstract art. Do you agree with this? Yes or no? Tell me in the comments down below. I have an interesting story about this. When I first started art school in my 20s, I actually went to art school in Chester County, Pennsylvania, and that's where Andrew Wyeth, the very famous realistic artist, that's where Andrew Wyeth lived. And in, in my first year of art school, one of my art professors actually told me, don't paint like Wyeth. And why? Because everybody was painting like Wyeth. Everybody was trying to be like Wyeth, painting realism like him, painting in his style. Why do I think this is bad art, art advice of um, why we should try to paint realistically? Like my art is representational, pretty like ab abstract, but always something representational in it. Um, all types of art collectors and art buyers and people interested in all types of art. And I do not agree with that you need to paint realistic art in order for your art to sell or to or for in order for your art to get into art shows or win art awards i totally do not agree with that what do you think tell me in the comments down below do you agree yes or no number two don't even try to be an artist it's way too competitive there's so many artists already okay i don't agree with that because first of all I don't try to be an artist. I am an artist. I was born an artist and I need to express myself. Number three, do your art only for yourself and don't even try to put yourself out there because you'll only get hurt and frustrated. Okay, I don't agree with this because yes, to put yourself out there does take courage. I think that's up to each individual artist, but I would say it's bad advice to say, only create art for yourself and don't try to put yourself out there because you'll get only get hurt and frustrated because if an artist wants to put themselves out there you should put yourself out there you have a voice you have a voice you you deserve to express it so don't let the fear of hurt and frustration stop you because you have a voice and your voice deserves to be expressed don't try to worry about getting validation so the need to express yourself shouldn't be squashed by the fear of not getting validation here's here's my kitty cat this is cassie she's gonna be 10 years old in a couple weeks her and her sister maggie moo number four only create art that sells even if you don't enjoy doing it do you think that's right? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree with this? I definitely don't agree with this because if you don't enjoy doing it, it will show in your artwork. Oh, I have a story about this. So several years ago, I thought, well, I think people like sunsets and sunrises. I'm going to do a whole series of these little paintings of sunsets. I did 20. I think I did 20 paintings of sunsets and sunrises. And I thought, I bet these will sell. Well, they didn't sell. And I had an open studio that was open to the public where I could sell things. And no, they didn't sell. And at another point, I had an open studio sale and People were buying a lot of my art that I had done from the past where I hadn't even thought about whether it's going to sell or not. I was just I was just focusing on improving my craft and growing as an artist. That's where the focus should be on improving your craft and growing as an artist. Number five, after creating art for a certain period of time, for maybe several months or several years, you still don't sell much art, then you might as well give up. 
I totally don't agree with that. Yes, it takes tenacity, strength, and courage to be an artist. Vincent van Gogh only sold one, maybe two, I, I forget if it's one or two, one or two paintings in his whole life, and now his paintings are among the most valuable paintings in the world, worth millions. Not saying that we can all expect that would happen to us, but you never know the journey that your art will take you. You never know where it will be received positively and the experiences you get growing as an artist. I think the focus again should be on improving your craft and growing as an artist. Around 30 years ago, since I'm a lifelong artist, and so around 30 years ago, I, I, I showed my art to an art gallery owner and an art dealer. And both of them said, no, they can't, they can't sell my art. So I didn't give up. I, I focus on growing as an artist and improving my craft year by year. And I have won art awards. Now I have sold my art. I've sold a lot of art. I have won art awards. I've been, I've been awarded artist grants. I was awarded a $7,000 artist grant. I, I have just recently been awarded a nine month artist residency with a solo show. 30 years ago, when they told me that, I just, I didn't give up because it's not about, it's not about wanting to be an artist. I am an artist and I do have the need to express myself. What do you think about that? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? I would just like to end this video with some good advice. And I just want to say, that's right. It's not easy being an artist. It takes strength, tenacity, and courage. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what's been some of the worst artist advice you ever got. And let's, let's support each other. Read other people's comments too. Everybody, I encourage you to read other people's comments down below in the comment section. And support each other and comment on each other's comments. I would love to see that. I think it would be such a healthy thing. It would be and help us all grow together as an art, all to grow together as artists and crafters. Here's Cassie, she, we call her Helmet Head. Yeah, it's kind of funny, she's like, Helmet Head. And they're gonna be, her sister's Maggie Moo, and this is Cassie, and they're twins from the same litter, and they're gonna be 10 years old in a few weeks.